The thing I'm trying to convey is not that I'm a badass or that I'm the coolest guy in the room. I just always want to convey, don't worry, I've got this. We were told you have to have a persona, it has to be big, it has to be cartoonish. There's a lot of hairspray in there as well. He looks like a fire hazard. You ever look back on yourself as a kid and just gone, who let me do that? I remember him being about 17, he came up to me and he said, I just want to be an authentic British wrestler. You're always improving in this job and the job's always evolving. You've got to move with the trends, move with what's cool, move with what's in. Fighting out of the Wigan Snake Pit. If you threw a Wigan wrestler, it turned to his belly and bite you. It was encouraged to train until you just couldn't train anymore. This country's wrestling is in very, very good hands. He just became this more like outward being. I've never deliberately tried to be a contrarian person. It's not a gimmick. It's 110% him. I wouldn't be surprised if he had tweed pajamas. Incredibly technically sound. There's nothing he can't do in that ring. He said, I'm going to take him down in the first round, and I'm going to tap him out. The minute he had that spotlight, everyone went, where has this guy been? Even the Americans have gone, we've never seen this before. There is no reason why he can't be the biggest wrestler in the last 10 years. It's about in England where I could be anything from fine to I'm on fire. <laughs> Remember showing up on the day going, have you got any ideas? Yeah, I've got one or two. What about you? Right. <laughs>